So I'm Toxie Hage with Mossy Oak and I'm fixing to show you how to cook my fried turkey breast recipe. So my dad says, you know, you gotta be good at something in life. And so um, I've become the go-to for something I'm proud of and that is cooking fried turkey breast. So before we get into cooking anything, and I learned this from my long lost best deceased friend, Bob Dixon, who was a master at cooking wildlife is you don't want to waste anything, but a certain amount of trimming is going to make a big difference. So you see here, you see this lining tissue. It will make a big difference to take your time with a really sharp knife, be careful, and trim to where you've got actual meat. But like where a pellet's been in, it might be a little bit freezer burn because it let air in there, or it may be a little bit bloody. Do the best you can to get that little piece out without wasting any meat. One of the biggest single things is this big, fat, wide tendon right here. And there's no real easy way to do it. You gotta get started and use your edge of your knife and just peel and peel and peel until you can start to pull it. The best part of all, the tenderloin and take your time. So I'm peeling this ligament out, tenderloin. It's so good. I mean, you could just cut it up and it would be okay, but to really make it two things, more tender where there's not a bunch of gristle and expose more meat to the batter and the cooking process. There's a tendon here in the tenderloin and it's real easy to peel off. And then you're rid of that. And then that tenderloin. And there's different, there's different, I've had people cut little bitty chunks. I've had people cut great big chunks. I'm kind of in between. I kind of feel like if they're too big, you don't get the flavor that you really like out of it. And if they're too small, there's too much spice to meat. Take your time, cut it in, I'm saying about, you know, an inch or so, sometimes smaller uh, pieces. Because what we're gonna do next is one of my favorite things that really makes a big difference to me is soak it in buttermilk. You get a little pile of nuggets built up like this. Go ahead, and uh, I guess this is called a marinade. I can't actually speak to what um, this does. I know it tenderizes it and greatly enhances the flavor. Small advice, uh, you don't wanna lose too much wheat, but when you see a little feather pinhole down in there, you might look for your shot because a piece of TSS these days will wreak havoc on you know an old guy like me's dentures. I think the buttermilk's a real important step myself. Be sure to blend it all in, make sure it's all getting surface contact with all the meat. And there we go. The next thing really is really, really important too is a batter. Um, I've always been told that self-rising flour is crispier. Uh, I've used not self-rising flour or mixed when I about ran out and they didn't seem to be as crispy. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, use self-rising flour if you like them really crispy. The other part is the seasoning. And quite honestly, that's where I apologize. So I'm a total scratch cook. I don't even know what I'm gonna do ahead of time, other than for sure, salt and pepper. I'll just take a shot at it from here. Uh, actually, I'm not a huge garlic fan, but a little bit actually I think does add to it, you know, trim and cut like I talked about and soak in the buttermilk for sure. You could even experiment with a couple of different batters and you know, even within that batch and to see what you, you know, come up with your own formula. Um, but for sure, salt and pepper. And actually, uh, if anything, a little heavy on the black pepper for me personally. Make sure I don't get too much garlic. And then, Let's go, lemon pepper. It takes a pretty good bit and this much batter. It's probably four pounds of flour.
if you are patient enough to. I love to, the fresh ground black pepper, but it takes a while. So what I would say, maybe some of these big chunks that are so good and they stick to the side and then kind of finish it off with the pre-ground. And I'm a big fan of the pink Himalayan sea salt. It's actually saltier than I think it seems to be to me. So you don't have to use quite as much. One thing I would advise is getting your little spoon and testing it as you go. Because a lot of times when I've got a big crowd, I'll test it and it's already too salty. And that's the big thing. You could be a little heavy on the other spices and it's gonna really be good. And there's a bunch of seasonings similar to this that are really good. Uh, this is just one I know works really good. So now it's cook time. Um, we have already put our oil in here. And quite honestly, I'm not the guy to demonstrate stuff, but I'll tell you, they have made it easy for even a bubble like me. So, and then what's, what's beautiful about this is this temperature gauge. If you get your little needle in that green, it's magic uh, for frying turkey breast. And I'm assuming fish too. Now, there you go. Kind of the old fashioned way, but one at a time. This temperature is right at the top edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a bunch in at one time and don't splash them. Yeah, it's gonna be good. That's just me, I would try to get everything in as quick as you can all at the same time. One, that'll drop the temperature down a little bit and two, they're all cooked about the same length of time instead of some of them 30, 40 seconds more than others. We're not gonna have to wait long for the first bunch. But I would say that's about perfect for me. They're all kind of different art forms. That's, that's one for me right there. Those are beautiful. And rinse and repeat. But one of our favorite meals as an outdoor family is wild turkey breast. It is the top of the food chain, literally for us. And this is kind of the way I do it. You know, I wing it, it's kind of by scratch. I think you can develop your own. Uh, but I, I'm, and I'm not saying this for any other reason, it's true. Get a Bayou Classic cooker for anything you do outside frying. So, hey, this is Toxie Hayes signing off from uh, cooking fried turkey breast like a lot of things I shoot from the hip and that's kind of the way I cook too but um, it's one of my favorites.